Well, it's a, a, a great pleasure to uh, speak about uh, our most recent book, um, Dr. Matsumura uh, and myself, and the subject is uh, clinical pearls. Uh, clinical pearls in medicine have uh, are as old as medicine itself is. In fact, I cannot find where the first usage of it was. Uh, people know that a pearl is a precious gem, small precious gem, and uh, as a result, many uh, pieces of information in medicine uh, can be made small and interesting to hear. So we thought, um, and over the years I have accumulated many of these. Uh, Dr. Matsumura told me he thinks the number may be 3,000. I, I, I don't know about that, but uh, I know it's at least 500 because of a previous book uh, I published. Not like this book, but uh, in, it did include um, uh, pearls. Whereas this book is all about clinical pearls and is unique in two ways. First, <clears throat> in addition to the, the pearl given in English, um, there is a brief and but longer explanation so that the reader who uh, is, hears the, reads the pearl, if there's any question excuse me, about understanding, um, simply needs only to go further to the longer paragraph below. An example might be a pearl, a stroke is ne never a stroke until it's had 50 of D50. Well, some people may not know what that means, but the paragraph explains that uh, metabolic disorders uh, for example, low blood glucose or hypoglycemia um, may produce a clinical syndrome which is almost identical, is identical to a stroke and that the do doctor caring for such patients should make a point of uh, first giving glucose because low blood glucose is the commonest cause of that problem. But then the other part that's so unique is that um, Dr. Matsumura uh, translated both the pearl and the explanation into Japanese and, and it goes without saying that, that this format could be applied to any language uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, I have previous work that is published in, in Chinese, for example, um, but I have no doubt that this is a universal in medicine that is the clinical pearl. And so um, uh, it would be something that I think uh, any country, uh, any language, and I have taught in many, many countries, uh, this would be perhaps of a lot of interest to other places.